want to talk about the future, but I'd love to go back a little bit. And do you remember the first time you saw this? I did. Yes. In, I wrote not, it in the not book. This inter- not this iteration, but the original one. Uh, and what you thought? Well, I was at the Allen & Company conference out in um, Sun Valley. And, you know, everybody goes there to hang out with each other and see what kind of things you could do. And Bob Iger had one of these things in his hand. And when he saw me coming, he put it in his pocket. Okay? And because I worked at, at Verizon and he was at Disney. And Apple at the time was on the Disney board. Steve Jobs was. And, you know, I, 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 I nosed around to say, what is that thing? And people said, it's pretty cool. It's a phone that does a lot of things you can't do. You know? So I went back to the office and I um, said to my team, what are they working on at Apple? And so our folks knew there was something going on, but they didn't quite know. Um, but we were trying to figure out, because you know Steve Jobs is very, very secretive. Yes. But lo and behold, by poking around, um, and the fact that I think Steve got really mad at Bob Iger because he let other people even see. Because he kept pulling it out. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> okay, and so Steve Jobs came to see us. Um, the Allen Conference was early July. Steve Jobs came to see us in August. And he showed us a device. And all of us sat there with a, a, a jaw drop. We knew this was a game changer, and we were screwed. It was going to change everything. Because it was going to take the phone network and all the stuff you used to do in your network and push it onto the phone. So that was not a good thing for us. And, and Steve just beat us up by saying, you have a bad network, you have bad services, this thing is much better, and those kinds of things. Well, um, we tried to convince him to carry it, let us carry it. He said no, because we didn't have the right architecture, and he wanted to distribute this globally. So a lot of reasons. So we lost the iPhone. Yeah, for AT&T, of course. We lost the iPhone. And so our response to that, getting to the chessboard strategy, is what we were going to do. So to make a long story short, we called up Google and said, you can't make one of those, but what could you do? (laughs) And Google said, well, we can make Android. And we said, good. So they made Android, and they put it into Motorola and all these other devices. And we survived for a few years. I went to see Steve about three years later. He was failing at the time. And by the way, this is very interesting, because I said to him, what are you doing here? He was failing health-wise. Oh, yeah. yeah. And what were you doing here? And he said, Ivan, this is what I do. And he just changed the subject. We went back to work. And I said to him, so when are you going to let us carry the iPhone? <laughs> and, and Steve, he said, well, you know, I'm very loyal to at and I'm not going to go away from at and But I have, to, I have to tell you a, um, an anecdote. He said, I was in my dentist's office this week. And while he was fixing my cavity, he was complaining about his dropped calls on at and <laughs> network. And that's all he said. So I went back to the office and I said, Steve didn't say yes, but he gave us an opening. Then Lowell, the, my successor, he called up Tim Cook, who was at that time the assistant to the vice chair, no, I guess the president of Apple. And he said, here's what we're gonna do. I know you guys are secretive. We think we have a really good network. You should really think about carrying our stuff uh, on, your, on your iPhone. And he, he agreed to put in a tower on the Apple campus, free of charge, and we said, we don't want to know what you do with it, we won't ask any questions, just use it. A month later, they called us up and said, you have a deal. Because they could see how much more they can do on our network than they could on the previous network. Well, I mean, it so ended that's, up the, being a, that's the story of the iPhone. Quality work. Right. And it ended up being a blessing and a curse for AT&T, right? I mean, the, their networks, I mean, they started to be known for drop calls. They started to be known for John Stewart helped lack of service. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's their in issue. part because right. they suddenly had all this new right. capacity so, they had to carry. I think if I were on at and side, what I would say is um, we helped expand the market much bigger than it was, so they probably gained something from it, but we took a lot of their customers for that. But you knew the minute you saw it that, it that that it was going to change, I mean, not just for your company at the time, and not just what you're saying, as you said, that we're screwed, but did you understand the way it would fundamentally change? So I don't deserve credit for that. What I deserve credit for is I came back and I snooped around and I asked a lot of questions to find out who knew about this. I didn't let it go. So the only thing I deserve credit for is I didn't know what I didn't know. But why would a guy like Iger walk around 
that conference showing off a device that didn't mean anything. So I didn't dismiss it. And our, and our, some of our people knew. So I think, the, to our credit, the people in our company, to their credit, they knew that the technology was enabling these, the intelligence to go into the phone rather than stay in the network. And so we, but when we lost it, then we immediately jumped into Plan B, which we called up Google, and we put a free tower on Google's premise, and we put a free tower anyplace else anybody they wanted, and they were able to develop uh, real estate things. So. I don't want to repeat this, but if you don't have a technology background or at least a technical background in your field, your instincts wouldn't be to follow up that way. So, you know, I, I don't want to pick on GE, but how could you be an expert in making washing machines and building airplanes at the same time? Can't do it. <laughs>